I'm Anthony Milford, we're at the Brisbane Broncos HQ. Welcome to my world. So this is our locker room. I was born and raised in Brizzy, and I've got family all over Brisbane, so about 10 minutes each way, anyway. And we're pretty close to family, so yeah, that's a big thing to me, and it's what I love about being home in Brizzy. Showers, toilets, you wanna see our sauna? Our sauna's pretty big, eh? Uh, one of our big features of this new club is having a pool. All the freshies um, avoid this one, uh, the ice baths. Way too cold. Freshies don't like the cold here. Gonna show you now our uh, half court Broncos basketball court. Kai. Yo, that's my boy Kyrie. Named him after Kyrie Irving. All the boys uh, probably play three, four times a week before or after training, so. It was a big dream and goal of mine to play for the Broncos growing up. I've always supported them when I was younger and to get the opportunity in 2015 to wear the jersey was pretty cool. Never played at Suncorp before. To make that my home ground and to play in front of 30 odd thousand each week uh, was pretty cool and they all just screamed for the Broncos so that just makes it a little bit more special. Before this was all uh, like built, our CEO Paul White went to America, had a look at what they use. He just gathered heaps of ideas and threw them all together and you come up with this. And here's our, all the premierships the Broncos have won. Uh, the Winfield Cups, the Super League, uh, and then the NRL ones. Uh, should have had one here for the 15 year. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be. So we leave one empty for the one we're gonna win this year. Um, and just keeps us boys motivated. All the superstars have worn the jersey. Crazy every time we come and look at this because every time we put on that jersey, we kind of represent those blokes. First moment I met Lockie, that was pretty buzzy. I just couldn't believe I was like actually in the same room as him. Started chatting like he was just a normal bloke from the street. So you think they're um, different and high class, but they're just everyday people um, and cool to work with. On the Sunday, if we got games, they'll uh, put on a kongai, and especially if it's a away game, gather around mum's house and have a feed, watch the game, and support me that way. So having that family orientation at home is pretty cool. Uh, g'day, uh, my name's Anthony Milford. I'm 23 years old. I play for the Brisbane Broncos for love living here in Australia. And I'm sitting next to this fine young woman here. Hi, yourself. my name's Auntie Letty. I'm 31 years old. Uh, I down, currently down, live in New Zealand. Former Miss Sarah Not Moore. former? What is it be former? <laughs> also a contestant for New Zealand's Next Top Model. Well done, thank you darling. How important is it, the whole mum and dad thing with your career? Massive. They've been a massive influence in my career. Whenever I need guidance in life, they're always there to give me advice and let me know what I'm about and what we're family about. And I guess just keep me level-headed every time I play. So you bought this house for mum and dad in 2015? Yep. It was a week before the grand final. Bought this house for mum and dad. Just know that Auntie Lucy's mortgage is still pending. Um, back in New Zealand. There's five of us um, and my partner, so I um, have all the family here on the weekend, so uh, we're pretty family oriented and super tight. Yeah, lots of things in my life are tight. Um, league players that you look up to? Jonathan Thurston. Oh yeah, my ex-husband, yep. He's like 86, 87 kilos, but he plays like he's 120 kilos. He's playing with a big heart. Yeah, I love him. I've always loved him. Please tell him that. Um... My tips for the young freshies coming through, enjoy yourself when you play football. Um, that's the number one key to, I guess, playing well. I know from experience, I've had too many things going on in my head and I think about too many things. But I know if you just stay focused and every time you do step on that field or training, whatever you do, you gotta have fun and uh, make sure you always smile.